About two years ago, I made this little modification and stuck it on my freeze dryer and made several videos. And I kept on getting comments of what this thing was and it's time to bring this to a close and answer the questions of what this contraption is. Well, this is a vacuum filter and I put it on my freeze dryer to see if it would do any good. And the freeze dryer I have is made by Harvest Right. And since then, other freeze dryer manufacturers, well, actually only one freeze dryer manufacturer for sure, has followed suit and has put a filter on their freeze dryer. The purpose of having a filter on a freeze dryer is basically to filter out micro particulates and it's primarily food from going through from the freeze dryer back into the vacuum pump and this was actually quite successful in what it did but it also had a few problems and the main problem with having this particular uh, filter on the freeze dryer is it increased the possibility of vacuum leaks. Now if you take a look at this thing right here, I have a fitting here and a joint here and here, here, here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This little contraption introduced nine additional joints where I could have a vacuum leak. And with the problem of the way things are nowadays, the body of this little uh, filter is actually made out of plastic. I guess we just can't make things out of uh, steel anymore. And with things being made out of plastic, as you end up running the stainless steel nipples and parts into this, over the time uh, it ended up cracking and it did cause me a vacuum leak. So the question is, did this work? Well, it did work and it worked actually quite well until I end up getting the hairline crack right here and that went underneath here. And once it cracked, I removed this from my freeze dryer. Now, another company that makes uh, freeze dryers actually you end up using this type of filter inside their freezer chamber to help uh, filter out micro particulates. And this is actually a respirator filter and it's actually the same filter that I use with my uh, respirator when I end up uh, welding on uh, anything that happens to have zinc. Uh, for those who are welders, if you weld it on anything that happens to have zinc, you can end up making uh, this particular gas that ca causes a, like what we call it a welding sickness. But they have this filter that's actually fastened in the back of the chamber and this filter that's made by 3M uh, does a really good job in filtering out microparticulates. Well, you might ask yourself, well, what's the big idea about filtering out microparticulates? Well, that's a good question. And I can show you what happens. When you end up freeze drying food, food begins to freeze dry and you end up lowering the atmosphere in the chamber, you get these little uh, micro explosions. The food is not frozen rock hard, and if there's any moisture in there, the explosion can get a little bit bigger. And what this is right here, and you may have seen this if you've ended up filtering your oil before, you get this kind of mold, kind of garbage right here. Well, this mold, which is also a bacteria, is what you get from microparticulates. And this, these little food particulates will actually grow in the oil in your vacuum pump. And if you don't filter this, these little microparticulates out, they will actually grow and turn into uh, a non-harmful bacteria. And if they're actually left to foster long enough, they can become harmful. This bacteria right here is actually, it's called aerobic, uh, aerobic bacteria. It usually takes about 18 to 48 hours to 
incubate and it's like like I said it's not harmful uh, this particular bacteria the only thing it will do it'll, it'll make your food taste funky and this is one of the reasons why I think it is prudent to filter your oil after every batch to filter out these little micro particulates of food that end up in your oil and to filter that out and to filter these micro particulates out of your oil so that you don't end up getting this growth medium in your oil. Uh, Harvest Right, I think their their current uh, guidance right now is your is to filter the oil about every six to eight cycles or so. I think it's wise to filter it after every batch. I will show you the oil analysis of what can happen if you don't filter your oil. If you take a look at the data from the oil test at the particulate count at the 4, 6, and 12 micron count, you can see what the data is as the particulate count of the oil without any filtration going from the freeze dryer back to the vacuum pump. But once you add the filter in the line, then the particulate count drops dramatically. Without the filter at the 4 micron count, you're looking at almost 22,000 particulates. With the filter, you're looking at 256. At the 6 micron count, without the filter, you're looking at about 5,700. With the filter, 79. At the larger 14 micron count, without the filter, you're looking at a count of 346. With the filter, you're looking at 6. It is clear to see that with a filter, the freeze dryer, and more specifically, the vacuum pump can clearly benefit with some kind of filtration device between the freeze dryer and the vacuum pump. So it comes back to the question, should you put something like this on your freeze dryer? The answer is no, you should not. There's just too many problems with trying to fit your freeze dryer with a filter like this. Now, as far as the competition, I think it was a great idea that they came up with this idea right here. And as far as Harvest Right, I think they should continue to innovate and they should come up with some way of filtering out the food particulates before it gets to the vacuum pump. But for everyone out there in freeze dry land, don't do anything like this. It's just an extra expense. It's going to lead to additional vacuum leaks and it's just going to be a pain in the butt to do something like that. If you really want to get rid of the food particulates in your oil, filter, filter your oil after every run and you'll be just fine. So don't do anything like this. It's just a, a hassle. Filter your oil more often. So anyway, thank you for your time. I appreciate your support. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll send you another video like this soon. And as always, go forth and freeze dry the world.